Hello, viewers, subscribers, Kingdom Saints. Just want to do a little preaching. What's uh? What is this world's most feared enemy? And a lot of y'all are gonna say Satan, but no. What is mankind's worst enemy? Ourselves. Us. Because we are disobedient. We're not walking in Christ. We disobey God the Father. God said, harden not your hearts. God said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. We walk in disobedience because we love our sins more than we love Jesus. We have to turn to Jesus because only he can break those chains. Only Jesus can free us from the bondage to sin. You know what I'm saying? So America has betrayed God, but there's still hope for you. Don't worry about the world. Don't worry about what this world is going to, because you can't do nothing about it. It's already been prophesied. But God's message to you is you can be saved no matter what this world is going through. No matter all the wickedness, deceit, lust, pride that this world displays, lawlessness, people not caring about each other, brother against brother, sister against sister, mother against daughter, father against son. That does not have to affect you and your decision to come to Jesus today. Because not everyone can be saved. Not everyone wants to be saved. But if you want to be saved, you come to Jesus. Give your life to him. Because he gave his life for you. You can be saved. Go, go on CNN. Go on YouTube and look at the state of the world that we are in and the state of the world that we live in and the state of the world in general. And look at everything that's going on in this world right now. And then go to Revelations and start at Revelations 1 and work your way all the way to the end and you will know that God is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. And he's an all-knowing God. And he's already prophesied everything that's happening. From the beginning of time until the end of time, till the end days, as they say. And you will know there is a creator. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And you have to have the fear of the Lord inside of you. Amen. And Jesus wants you to know that you have a chance. You have a chance. We all have a chance. For eternal life. Eternal redemption. With Christ Jesus. But you gotta want it. You've got to want it from your corazón, from your alma, from your heart, from your soul. You've got to want it so bad that you're almost dying, which you are, which you are, because those who don't have Christ are already condemned. Let me adjust my mic here a little bit. Do I sound okay? You know, the scripture says, those 
those that know it, my son, Jesus, shall have eternal life. But those that know it not of my son are already condemned. God said, it is appointed once for a man to die, and then the judgment. He made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that we might have the righteousness of God in him. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. There is no back door to Jesus. There's only two roads that you can follow. The wide road to destruction or the narrow road to eternal life with Jesus, which is heaven. And I'm looking you right now, I'm looking you straight in the eye and telling you, you must come to Jesus in order to have salvation. You must come to Jesus. Look at Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that Jesus has, rose, has risen from the dead, Confess your sins to God the Father and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and accept him as your personal Savior. You shall be saved. And God is not a man that he should lie. You can hold him to his promises and you will receive the blessings and you'll receive sanctification. Amen. You'll be a new creature. And everything in this world that you're worrying about, you won't have to worry about it no more. I sure don't. You know what I'm saying? He took all of my buttons off of me and he can do the same for you. He can do the same for you. Today could be your day of salvation. Hallelujah. You got to want the transformation. You got to want it. Amen. This is just a morning message for my brothers and sisters out there that are are walking in darkness and don't know where to turn. Jesus is the light at the end of that tunnel that you're going through, that dark tunnel. Just come to the light. Just keep walking, keep walking until you get to that light. And Jesus will embrace you with open arms and give you a love that you've never had before. The love that Jesus gives you, you can't find that in this world. You're not going to find it in this world because the love that Jesus has for you is unforsaken love. And he will love you for who you are. Unconditional love. You can't find that love in this world. That kind of love you will never ever find. Only he can give it to you. But you gotta want it. You gotta be want to be. F you got. You have to want to be freed, and be free. Cause he will free you, and you will be free. Because Jesus said, "He who I set free is free indeed." Amen. So don't let Satan steal your joy. Amen. Don't let Satan steal your joy. That's what he wants to do. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. That's his mission in this world. Don't let him shoot those fiery thoughts or arrows at you. 
You know what I'm saying? You can be like me. You can be like me. Because when he shoots those froggy darts at me, I'm like, <laughs> stop tickling me, evil one. Get behind me, Satan. For I gave you back everything you ever gave me. Amen. Anyway, I hope this message hits somebody today. You heard? Somebody. Anybody. Even if it's that one lost sheep out of a hundred, the angels in heaven are rejoicing and God is smiling. Amen. <laughs>